Hey y'all, thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna show you a great dish, crock pot buttery cabbage. My mother used to make buttery cabbage a lot when I was a kid and it is absolutely wonderful. And this recipe is easy to make. Y'all stick around, I'll show you how to do it. Now first just take your head of cabbage, I'm using a small head, and cut it right down the middle of that core you see yonder. All right, now we need to take that out. Just make some cuts on either side of that core and then a cut up underneath and it'll pop right out. Now you don't wanna eat this, you just wanna throw that away. Do that for the other half that you cut as well. We also wanna remove the top two layers of those leaves because they're full of dirt and God only knows what else is in yonder. All right. Then just chop it up into bite-sized pieces or ribbons, whichever you prefer, and then rinse it under cool water. Then add it to at least a six-quart crock pot, and that's going to fill it up significantly, but don't worry, that's not too much. It's going to cook down. All right, then just add your top chopped onion on top of that, then your chicken stock. Now we're only using two cups. You don't need to cover this completely because cabbage is full of water and it's, as it cooks down, it's gonna create its own juices. Next season with some kosher salt, black pepper, and for a little heat, some red pepper flakes. And we can't forget the bacon. Cook you up some bacon and just throw that in on top. Then take your stick of butter, cut it up, arrange it on top. We're going to put a cap on this and we're going to cook this five to six hours on low. Now be careful because every crock pot's different, so the cooking times may vary. About halfway through the cook, take your cap off, give it a stir, put the cap back on, and let it go another three hours, then serve it up and enjoy a delicious cabbage meal. Hope y'all give this a try. The recipe and directions is in the description box below the video. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hey, subscribe for more easy and delicious recipes or leave a comment. I'll answer every one of you. But until next time, bye-bye, y'all.